we go, oh, your way's better. Let's go that way. And if we have a chance to have a dialogue back and forth, and I truly believe that's the best relationship. Do you have employees that every single time you say something, they push back? I know I used to have them. I don't anymore because I don't allow them in my company. I actually changed the culture of my company enough that if somebody keeps pushing back all the time, they're just looking to bicker. And I hate to tell you this, they're just cranky. They're just cranky individuals that, that you're just mad at the world. And that is uh, not a healthy relationship in the workforce. If they push back all the time, they're cranky all the time. If they're always just, you know, well, that's a bad idea. Well, can't wait to see how this works out. Well, we'll try. You know, you instantly just know that that negativity is there and that is not healthy for your environment. You're going to want to either try, you know, and this is the steps that I take personally for me. If I have a negative person, I'm going to pull them aside and I'm going to go, how's your day treating you? You okay? Is there anything I can do to help you? I think it might be best if we, you know, change your attitude a little bit. How can I help you? And I want to see if they can just blow off some steam and get right back on the right track. One of the other things that I do is I say, hey, do you, do you need to go home for a little bit? You know, you want to take the day off and recharge and come back? You know, I'm going to ask them if they can reset in front of me or I'm going to ask them to go home and reset. Now, I like the second one to go home and reset if they can't change their attitude right off the bat. And this is why. If we go home to reset, we took away money out of their pocket. We took them out of their normal environment, their own circular. If your job is to get up, you go to work, you come home, you make dinner, you go to sleep, you get up, you go to work, you come home, you make dinner, you go to bed. If you keep that same cycle, after a while it gets repetitious and that repetition kind of just, you get bored. It breeds, I wouldn't say resentment, but it's just, you're bored. Of and then you get a little cranky because there's no creativity, there's no fun. By breaking that cycle, sometimes that's all people need. You know, it might even suggest you might want to take a couple days off. Go do something that you like. Go reinvest in a hobby that you've sat down and put down for a long time. But reinvest yourself. I'm telling you guys this because the last two consulting gigs that I went to, I was watching bad relationships with the boss and the coworkers. And those relationships were detrimental to the culture of the company. They were absolutely brutal to where it came from on how to make a very uh, efficient, happy team, a good cohesive atmosphere to where everybody's excited to get the job done, excited to make the customer happy, excited to do a job well done. You know when you're in a good mood and you do a good project and you're proud of it, as you should be. You should be super proud of a project. You know, I, I we're building a, a retaining wall in our backyard right now, and it's a big retaining wall. It's eight feet tall. It's 122 feet long. We had to use the 12 inch cinder blocks in the bottom for the first four feet and then eight inch cinder blocks for the rest of it to make the height. We had rebar, we had uh, um, all kinds of stuff. We had trades out there and I was basically the cleanup guy. Yeah.